we're trying to make um, the police more safe in the neighborhood. It was saying, hey, every police officer has a right to make sure that they follow all the security of the gang rules, that they're not um, uh, doing anything that's not uh, untoward or would be disgraceful. If you, and I, if you actually, I mean, every uh, industry, the and more than one, always had a, a group that made sure we held the standards. And the ones that cut up all those standards was rummed out. People scrutinize cops when they shoot people every time because the cops never. Well, um, you know, it's depending on the industry. Um, you know, we have the fact that you can deal with that we are turning against um, not an actual investigation. And that's what you would do. Because you're proud of your profession, and you don't want anyone that would do anything that would degrade that would, uh, you. Like this, so you know what I mean? Don't like you. So yeah. Well, well, and I think that's what internal. You wouldn't have to exist if we could Why? Why? I know, but but by throwing it out to one department, it should be well, every officer's every individual that should be. Like well, don't like Bob, the block. well, yeah, but you, you don't see the, the joke in Pop Block, it's very similar, or a very funny term. Oh, okay. Uh, right. so, okay, yeah. now, okay, I can see where you So, so the next it's time it happens, happens, what type of shirt you get on? <laughs> no, I, no, well, now he brings up, I see where you're going with the joke now, now I see where you're going. Yeah, it's a play on words. But it, but it, it is, but it kind of comes, he just, like my first impression was, okay, I don't like Bob. No, well, it's sitting here talking to her. So she mentioned the shirt. I honestly didn't know she was wearing a shirt until uh, she mentioned the shirt. Um, but until your organization. So, so what have we said that was really hard for her to The only thing is, um, not really. Um, we're, we're passionate about what we do. Kind of what the main person you don't like us. We, I mean. <laughs> I mean, outside of my shirt, well, it kinda you like haven't really said anything outside of asking for that book. Asking for why there is an account. We haven't said cops or anything. Because I, 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 I feel like you do have that accountability. I wanted to make sure I got that accountability. No, it's time to join it. I think... Uh, I never should be held accountable. And, and, and I said that earlier. I said, as I said, I don't know, right? as I said, I, I, I have accountability with what you mean. Like if, if you want to say I don't like cops, the reason why I would not like cops no, is that's why I was asking. I was asking that, is that like, <coughs> if my if officers are friendly with walking the neighborhood and just doing his job and not covering up for cops. And, and, in, in the uh, case of Metro, aggressively making sure that there is no kind of um, yeah, I, I think he you know, does have a, a bad track record, right? I mean, it's in the news, I mean, it's documented. So, so when we're... Uh, so so you, you probably have room to get rid of some of the small bad options. I'm not saying that we don't. Yeah, I, I, I don't think it's hard to sit there hanging with these ladies keep these guys all the time. Yeah. No, I don't well, think so. Because there's, they, uh, there's a lot of officers that get fired all the time that you guys don't hear about. There was a use of force board that landed from the ground. So I think they did step in and make sure that he did not get fired. Um, Jesus Caravallo, who he said to his wife three months before he murdered his family Gibson, that he wanted to shoot somebody so he could get paid time off. And then well, I don't, know about, I don't know about all that, but uh, here's they, all I can they waited I until he put it in. You know, I, I try to do my best to be fair to everyone. I try to do my best to enforce the laws. I really don't think I'm up the law. Uh, and that's why I did this job. I did this job to, to help people make a difference. Because I didn't go into the first you know, If I would have went to the third, there would another way to get back to my country. This is my way of getting back to my country. You know, and I'm trying to get back to my country. Is there an issue here? Um, can things be better? Yes. Uh, are we working on it? I believe we are. So, I mean, you can sit here and pick out all the little, the little things, the fire history and all that. It's not the same thing. And they are going to be in there. I mean, for a community. Well, 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 and you guys. I don't know. No, we didn't blow it up. But we had to put a word in front of people to put in a proper contact. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Well, 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 that's what I'm saying. You know, and in the community of Las Vegas, you know, of the violent crime and that happened it's in the homeless community and um, the other community. I know people in the 
Yeah, absolutely. Is that, is that, is that murder? Yeah, absolutely. We're very okay. familiar with that. Okay. So, um, you know, that was an unfortunate circumstance. Someone was trying to help someone else out, and they knew, you know. But because they're homeless, that's, that's not a thing, and that's, that's, that's what happened. Right. Right, it wasn't, it, it was, um, you know, an aversion under the interest of violence. Coffee's for everybody, right? After that, up there, he said they're only for the office. So it's free coffee. Yeah, I didn't have to go Oh, I had one. <laughs> yeah. Did you read the 54 cents. 54 cents. For refill. I don't know. I don't know. I was going to get one of these. But it's actually... Officers aren't actually to take free things on their own duty. I know, we don't have to. <laughs> Did you have the camera so we can come down? Huh? Probably. I mean, if they get there, they can fly. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. I think we got more questions? We can throw them out there. Um, I don't know. There's a thing in maybe you got a... So do you guys have a, a website so we can write in to, you know, please support these events. We'd like to see more of them. Uh, but the monthly, that would be even better. You know, where the cops come out. Um, yeah, the Facebook. The Department of Facebook. Can we request a certain officer in different... About a year and a half ago when I was arrested for a uh, peaceful and illegal protest in the Jews, uh, um, the officer that arrested, the sergeant that arrested me, uh, I had asked him two questions and he told me uh, he couldn't speak and if we were having coffee from school that he could talk to me. Can I request that officer? I don't see why not. Uh, I mean, uh, I'd like, yeah, I'd like to take him up on that. So, is this the first one of these you've done? Yes. Very interesting, isn't it? Yeah. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, I said I died. I had a feeling. Um, I honestly, I didn't know what to expect, really. Um, people are so busy. They just, a lot of them just come get their coffee and they they say hi or whatever. Um, you know, but I, I think it is a good thing for it. I get a better understanding of, because um, I've heard that the cop walk before. Exactly what, what your were. You know, and, and the thing is, remember that because we actually we police our own group also. We make sure we yeah. hold our people accountable, which is amazing. Uh, Justin McCas McCaskill was arrested, I believe, last week for uh, making threats against the cops in the FBI. Well, he was a guy that was a member of Cop Block. Uh, originally, um, Southern Oklahoma cop block was um, He started making threats on Facebook, and we publicly disassociated from him. He warned people that he was not a member of cop block. Uh, he moved to Colorado and created another cop block called Colorado cop block. We publicly disassociated from him. Was there? So are you guys um, no, they are, <clears throat> I'm a member. I'm a member. member. And, and each state, I don't believe. I don't believe in titles. I believe that, uh, and, and each state will have its own. I believe encouraging everyone to participate. Well, I agree. Yeah. I understand that, but like, who, who uh, created it? I started the group. You started. Uh, yeah. Local group. Right, uh, but you have to know every state, national every group. Every state, every state. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, so he was arrested because he was making uh, threats specific threats against cops and FBI. Um, so I, I'm not, I won't be surprised if they try to use that. The reality is we have a history of both the history of the country and the country and warning people that we do not represent them. And that's the sort of accountability that cops should have when people within their groups um, do things that doesn't represent their, uh, their mission and their goal. Right. That's and not that happening. They play drink and they, they make that thing in line. Uh, and they protect their people. Instead of uh, cleaning that up.
getting rid of this guy. Well, I, 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 think, I think you'll see some change. I think you'll see some change. Um, I think you'll see some change. If you go back, you know, back to the 1970s, that when the uh, Metropolitan Police Department, I think it was, or someone at that time, I think as the department made leaps and bounds to how things would be ran, I think as we move forward, I think, I think we'll get there. I don't think so. I think as we go, I think we'll get there. You know, it's just keep doing what you're doing, and maybe that will make some changes too. Is it your voice to speak for the public? Like I said, I'm not, I'm not, by, by no means I, can I say that I agree or disagree with what you're saying. Like that's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Um, but, uh, I might not be able to say that to us, but you can say that to other people who are doing it. I mean, when you see people doing these things, you can make an issue. You can make the people that supposedly investigate you an actual investigation. Make them actually police people. Make them hold people accountable when they do these things. Yeah, and I, you know, it becomes my own. No, it's above my pay grade, and I can't do anything about it. You know, but that's, that's but it's in the locker rooms, and I'm in the squad room. Because to a certain degree, it doesn't matter what I say, there's nothing I can do about it. Um, because we have a chain that we have to go through. And if in this case, the situation's already been... Well, well so there's always the case of peer pressure. Every group has peer pressure, and if, if the top side gives belief, I do believe that corruption is wrong, I think value is wrong. So, I mean, you can create that force within your own uh, squad. So you're that, saying there's the, 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 the PPA there. Which is, well, they're not, they're not going to be real. I mean, they have, that, you're, 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 you're asking what I can do. That's what I well, do. They're what, my voice. So. What you're saying is that there's a very small percentage of cops that you got from And so if all the other cops that aren't doing those bad things got together, made an issue of those bad things being done, instead of covering it up, you know, allowing the chain of command to cover it up, you can make real change and things like that. Well, if and I that's what we from you guys, yeah. Yeah, if I believe that what they did was wrong, yeah. But, um, you know, I, I've got a few instances where I've attended um, gatherings where there are off-duty police officers. And on more than one occasion, they said things like that, I found it. Um, well, there's been times I've, I've found them like that. And, you know, like, why, you know, if you believe this, then the public is really, you know, I wouldn't feel safe now with this guy because they have a propensity um, uh, for violence or for talking about, uh, you know, what it is this is was, like, I fall to the pretty days would you shoot him because it'd be easier, you know, and I'd say, you know, I wasn't, they were known to that, you know, my views or anything, I was just observing. So, you know, I know that you guys say, I've, I've been in the same situation, like, why did that person say that? See, now, okay, so, when, uh, here's the problem. When you were in that situation, what, you were in that situation, you were in that situation, well, it wasn't nothing like, uh, if it was happening, yes, if it wasn't, you know, if it said like a, a rude comment, I wouldn't. It, I mean, they had the meaning behind what their the content, what they're saying. Like if it's like, like a race topic or something like that, yeah. But as far as like you know, you know I don't like him or something like that. I, I probably oh no, no, it would be an indication of their uh, mindset as to because you get a lot of people from the comments that they make, what their mindset is yeah, and the way they're yeah. going to behave. Yeah, they talk about, <laughs> or if a guy's always talking about, you know. Uh, kick in the car from the face, or, yeah, you know, no, that's one of them, you know, yeah, like, fuck them guys, that kind of get a guy and them. Yeah, no, that, and that, 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 that's a concern, yeah. And these that, are the that, comments that, that I like hear. Here's the thing, I don't want to be, I wouldn't want to work with someone like that, because, 
you get painted also. Right, that'd be an issue for me. That I could get me in in hurt or in trouble. I'm not out here to do the wrong thing. I I really know. You probably talked to the you know the most high school level headed, open minded person. I I I try to be really open minded in people's views, and I try to look at it from their standards. You guys bring up a lot of good points. Um, but trying to express it from my point of view, I hope we can kind of see where we're going, but I'm just one person, you know, you know and I can speak on behalf of the partner, you know. Well, I understand sympathy because, you know, there are certain guidelines that they tell you you've got to follow here. Yeah, but, and then, you know, but they also bring you out here. <laughs> you, you know, don't even have to tell us you do. <laughs> Yeah, but I see a lot of that thing that you're talking about in the area that I work with. I would encourage you to pay attention because I know about it. I don't work in it. Yeah, so I'm talking about where I work and the thing in the, in the, in the group office that I, I do you, you know, I don't know if you go out to the valley trying to talk to different officers. No, well, I, I do go around the valley. I don't see anything. Um, it's, it's very publicly available. Any information that I brought up today is very publicly available. And I try to be, be honest. I, when, I, when I leave work, I try to leave work. I don't, I don't try to bring it home. I have to stand there. You know, I, there's a lot of negative things that I see. There's a lot of negative things that, you know, happen. So, you, I mean, I mean, there's a lot of stuff on TV. Do you feel like I don't the stress is, you feel like they stress is up the job? I mean, do they provide any sort of ongoing counseling at the police department? Like, continuously, especially so, you know, that is then man start taking it out. But is it has to be replaced, or is it mandatory that you have to go through? Or whatever service you the eye or the day and it's in hospital car. No, no. I I've reached out to the the you know, so it depends on the officer. You know, some of the things you know I have seen what there is, I've reached out to them. So they're out there. Well, I I mean just on, on your side, the free side. You, you know, like the suicide of police officers is kind of high, and especially uh, since there wasn't a whole lot of services or our police wouldn't avail themselves to it because it would make them look weak in their eyes and their brothers uh, would. It's a rifle job. So, you know, but then you can see how this also leads when guys are, have built up hostility, they'll either hurt themselves, hurt their families, which is like another the, thing, and, like and the, the outside is. You guys are in a unique uh, position. You're in a, a position of authority. Um, you know, you have the authority over citizens like weapons. Um, you know, you have the ability to take lives. Um, you know, as you're ready. Right, and all of that feeds in. So when we come and we're concerned, uh, you know, about the escalation of violence, you know, that police officers sometimes have towards civilians. But I think you know, that kind of comes back to there's a lot more civilians that are more aggressive towards us. I mean, look, they got... Oh, there's a lot more civilians, I mean. Well, but, but, but look how aggressive they are. I mean, they're murdering us. 
we had two that we heard of this past, this past year. They're out there sniping. I mean, it's gone down. The statistics have gone down over there. They just killed two more. They just killed two more. They just killed two more. How's that going down? Well, they're not going to be five cops murdered in Los Angeles in the past 25 years. Yeah, I'm talking throughout the United States. That number is way up. Overall. Is that from last year because it's historically low? It's still something like 40 percent below the average. Well, it wasn't 15 or 15. I think you talked about murder being a, a topic. Now you're kind of saying that, well, it's no, not that big of a deal. No, I'm not saying I mean, that. One, one person is quite valuable. Right. One person is quite valuable. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't matter who you are, what the situation like. I agree with that. Unfortunately, that's not the way it actually happens in reality. And the, 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 the incredible difference between it is, people that are murdering cops are going to handle it. They're either dead or in prison. Cops are still out there murdering people. <clears throat> One of them is advising other cops that should be. One of them is his job now is to advise other cops that should shot people. And he shot three he people. Right? Yeah, he mm -hmm. killed three people. He murdered Trayvon Cole while he was on his knees in the bathroom. He is now the official uh, PPA advisor to cops for shooting. Oh, he's an expert on shooting. So, but so I mean, if you look at the, the majority of the cops the perception of that is just incredibly ridiculous. You couldn't find anybody else in the entire union who was five people. Well, did you see how it looks though? And um, well, I mean, I'm not sure what the percentages are of police officers who actually shoot uh, people who have shootings on their records. <clears throat> and for one officer to shoot three people, I mean, three separate incidents. Um, statistical probability of the this there being a, a that I mean, you know, the majority of police officers go through their whole career with never firing their weapon. One guy actually has two active shooters on his record. Um, I mean, that's kind of like Not getting out of you know? And it's just, and it just looks odd. I mean, there's been no, there's, I, I mean, it's happened. I mean, I don't know what else I agree um, across the board there should be any murder. I wish should get murdered. But to say, um, the cops get murdered last year, so that's just a problem with all the cops. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I'm, I'm not, just not, saying that the people that we encounter are a lot more aggressive towards the getting the getting cops. But the actual history is that they're not. You know, you got to um, talk about that. that I think the cops have I mean, gone really down. It's at the, one of the lowest points at, in the in history of the United States. Oh, it's like the 18th. Um, uh, at one of the lowest points in the United States. Right, the violence against police officers. Yeah. Even, even what 2013 was like the lowest since the 1800s. Yeah. The violence against police officers. I know that see, this is all about perception and the, the information. Yeah, perception. Are uh, you guys are that, you know, the citizens are out there. You know, it's getting tougher and tougher, but they're in the fact that you get impression that cops are more you guys, but you guys, you guys are, because we're doing our job and handling those, a lot of those situations without the bad outcome. There's every day, I can say every day I go, there's going to be someone that I encounter that it almost results in some sort of altercation, and all I'm trying to do is help them. That's part of the problem is, we, yeah, I mean, you guys create this perception that you're a war and you're some people. Right, oh, well, that we're, we're, that 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 we're, that we're likely, that we're, right, that we're, that like, the six civilians are, are ratcheting up, violence against police. Um, and the, the, two, the incident with the two officers in New York, with, I mean, the guy, I think, shot his girlfriend ahead of time. I mean, the guy was, and the guy was, and the guy was, and the guy was, and the Right, and it wasn't, you know, so it wasn't that a regular citizen was like, that's it, I'm, you know, fuck the police uh, type of mentality, the guy was mentally ill and chose to have to shoot his own dog from. And, and the other point is that lack of accountability for your possibility and this trust, which makes more likely those people that are on the edge, that are violent, that don't like cops, are more likely to act out on that because of that lack of accountability. Yeah, and then and another that's reason why, you know, they them shit and part of the system. That's why, another reason why it's your guys' benefit. 
Right. I don't know, we're just reiterating. Um, you know, it, it's just, it is. It's a, it's a tough world out there for all of us. I mean, none of us like uh, for every traffic stop to think that it could escalate into something more. Um, I've had bad traffic stops. I, um, you know, I've had a police officer, you know, tailgate me if I pulled over, tailgate me again, you know, to slow down and then pull me over for unjustified brain changes. I, I know you guys see that happening at the instance, but it's that type of behavior that makes people say, oh, wait a minute. No, um, when it happens We're just to me. We're bigger spotlight, and so every little thing. Every little yeah. detail, it, it gets brought out, and it's, sure. it's, and that's hard, it's, it's hard, hard to, 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 it's hard to good, keep everyone accountable for all those things. Yes, Part of should. the reason for that spotlight is that lack of investigation. <laughs> that, <clears throat> okay, this guy just stayed included, so I only got my name, I got the money for that. That, that lack of accountability when the police don't investigate these things, then it's, then the citizens have to and you have to investigate every case because the police don't investigate anything. Yeah, because we, we don't feel like justice is being terrible. The rubber stamp is kind of, you know, if the police can't investigate themselves, I mean, I think it's silly. I don't think any organization should be able to investigate themselves anyway. It should always be an outside, that body of uh, independence that review this stuff. But, you know, because even when the uh, general organization that makes itself finds it, oh, everything is cool and, and still trusting Is it the guys taking care of themselves and protecting each other? So that's where, you know, it comes in with a lot of the issues. And as you see out there, when people are just doing <laughs> I mean, I'm coming from a place of like living adults, so I don't get really the passion and, um, you know, that the minority communities get. I mean, I, I, well, I would say perceived um, harassment or uh, perceived uh, additional attention um, in minority communities. So, from what I feel, you have to say it's going to be rapidly up more, but people do go out there and say, hey, you know, we'll speak it up more as black people, it's just more of a murder, it's just not like that. Um, it's basically we pull up the crime stat, hey, there's a spike in crime over here, we had a second call, we had a robber here, so like your best grade for me, that's what they go do, they go second grade. Now, then it goes back on to the accountability part, and they have to be held accountable how they say the lead that particular time. But I, that's not what I used to take, because I'm right there. Right. Um, you know, the only thing I can do and the officer next to me is try to do what, you know, I uh, have a hope to do that the community safe and protect people and save lives. Well, no, we, we understand that aspect, well, but we want you to go. So, like, when you when you go in tomorrow and you have to speak in office, you know, you, and there's a fellow officer, you say, you know, I met these guys, and this is, this is the protection that we have. You know, we really must try harder now to break that protection or change that protection. Um, and we're, said it's not true. true. It's no. not true that it's well, not like you mean, we're always going to work, but, you know, well, the thing like about it is, even if you're not there, you're allowed to have to say, you're allowed to look into a case, you're, 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 you're probably in a much better position to get those people. Um, and an example of who cops are there, the standard of food murder, they were 19 cops on the I believe it's six of them there, too. They couldn't refuse to make any sense. They were all there, they thought exactly what happened, they refused to make any sense. They didn't have to go in the And that's the sort of thing that creates the hostility, creates the bad distrust, and makes your job that much harder. Yeah. Well, yeah. That was, I mean, that was a bad situation. Well, you had 19 cops, and you had only six more statements. That shows any either willful, you know, disregard of the public, or, or just you know, I, I can imagine what else. 
thing, and it makes it difficult for us now. Is it what we try our best and try our best, and yet when things like this happen? Well, I say this. I mean, I roll my eyes at a lot of people. I know what I'm saying. I see things, I'm like, roll my eyes, and, you know, we talk amongst people, and, you know, we try to make sure that it's done the right way, or we try to make sure it, it you know, it get down the proper way. I'm not saying I just sit back and just don't say anything, because that's not just a Well, I, I mean, there's also been cases recently in the paper where our officers who have stepped forward are subject to a lot of in-house abuse. Um, you know, different uh, leaving rats on cars, so they call rats. Um, you know, being shunned and stuff. So I hadn't heard anything or anything like that. They hadn't happened. And that's what they do with any anything. You're always going to have that peer pressure or whatever. Um, through my so, eight years, through my experience, um, I haven't really been caught in that. I'll say that. Not gonna happen tomorrow, or whatever. Um, but I really try to get, I really try to look at the positive things. I mean, it was a lot of negative. I really try to look at the positive things. I really think we're doing a good job. I see your point of view, and it is a big agency. It's gonna take a lot of people to correct a lot of the issues. So, I don't know. Tough stuff to talk about. To be honest. You know, absolutely. You know, there's a lot of issues here that you know we address. Well, I'm just you know, know. Well, I, I would encourage you not to just say I can't do anything about it. Just because somebody investigating something, you need to say you've been doing a proper investigation, and you should if I feel that it needs to, yes. If I feel, if I feel like you did your job, then I think so. Yeah, I think yeah. And I would, and I think you're a real officer, officer should. But if they still went back to their given, that it was handled the proper way. So that's true. I mean, I know you can't think for any other officer, but, you know, you, you, like, we talk about like, 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 I don't know anything about that. I don't know anything about that. I would, 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 I I'm glad you guys not to keep going on through. I'm glad you guys not to keep going on through. And uh, Gillespie stopped it. And the reason he stopped it is because he didn't want it to become public. Not because, you know, he was innocent. Because he didn't want people to know about it. And that's your higher up. I mean, and I know that's something you can do against the higher up. They're there. But now that you're aware of it, you know, you look with different eyes about the policies or the statements that are made. And uh, I wonder... You know, I want to look through the time. That's that's our motto. You know, we're gonna go have you look a little differently at us, the community, and hopefully you'll go and try to open your fellow officers' eyes. You know what? This is our perception. Um, you know, maybe we have to take care of this. Yeah. You know, but the bad guys are doing it the other way. They're covering each other when there's police brutality. Um, it works the other way too. The good guys come to check the other good guys to make sure that anybody who has to come forward is protected and not harassed. And that's what we expect to do again. Well, would you say when it comes to like uh, civilian citizens, um, word to conflict uh, with another officer, do you think it's policy or expectation to, to assume that the that the person's lying? Or, I mean, if it if it's contrary to what the cop is or or that. Every, every circumstance is different. I mean, it has to be, it has to depend on this person. For example, I had someone to be in my partner, but come to find out, that's all he does. He picks up a lawsuit, he gets So his whole purpose is to try to get money to make. So he had a motive to, you know, and, and all it was was a, a traffic uh, uh, 
I think doing the job, do I take the right. work, the truth, by the way, no. Like, you know, I have to kind of fill them out and ask questions to see what their motive is, or are they really concerned with it, you know, or are they just trying to vote? I don't know. I guess I have to go back to what you're asking again. Like, you know, I mean, um, I don't know, I've seen sometimes, like, uh, I don't know, like, to assume, I've seen police assume that uh, someone may be exaggerating or yeah, saying, right. like, you know, if this really happened, like, if saying that police report. Like I assume that you guys hate the police, you know, because it's a hot block and the questions that you're asking. But now, like I see where you're kind of, you're kind of uh, concerned on the behalf of the police, you were going to represent you, but it's not for everything. I'm going to ball it. Don't um, take that from me. Yeah. You don't have that trust. It's hard for us to represent you. Yeah. So, so um, I think over time, when you get complacent or you know a certain element uh, of society, you, you get to, uh, like, okay, do this one a little bit. And that's where it's tough. It makes the job harder where you have to step back, get your, your uh, balance or your, uh, what you call it, or, uh, your bearing about who you are, about your purpose. Um, it's a tough issue. Tough job. I mean, what else? What kind of, you just always drove a truck? What other kind of work have you done? Oh, I've done a lot of work. I've done truck, heavy construction, um, general labor. And, uh, you know, I love writing, photography, financial uh, yeah. in general. And, uh, so, you know, I went to college. I got a degree in physical uh, education. I originally was going to teach, you know, because I wanted to help, help kids like that. And then my past is kind of this way. I figured I could do the same as this. What's your opinion? I see you thinking. <laughs> I'm just listening to you. Yeah. Well, my cousin was, I mean, um, he just became a cop again. He used to be about 20 years ago. Uh, my cousin in New Mexico, but um, he was a teacher too before, so, you know, I know it's good and bad, so, <laughs> obviously, so, <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm sure, you know, that's the way he's good. You know, they change the laws and how, how uh, much you drive. I'm sure there's drivers out there that are driving and they should. You know, it's everything. Everyone's going to push the limit, and it's just a matter of, like, Holding accountability, what's that? I'm going from there. So what's your, are you talking now with your cousin then? Do you ever talk with him? Um, well actually, lately, um, I haven't talked to him. Uh, my mother has a little bit and, you know, she pays attention to the stuff that I, she's asked him questions about yeah. this. I don't know, he seems to not uh, want to say too much, oh, yeah. but... Um, but I don't know, I mean, um, he, he deleted me from Facebook recently, maybe, maybe because of content, you know, I post some top block things, you know, I'm not, you know, I'm trying to be fair as much as I can, so, you know, I, I understand I might have had, I had to do with it, so, you know, I, I'm not, like, like, I don't post stuff just, again, you know, anti-cops or hating, you know, just trying to hold them accountable. Um, But yeah, I know. I believe he's good. Who are you talking Yeah. Like I'm going to pop? Yeah. I mean, I hope. Yeah, I'm glad I can talk a little bit about it. Oh, really? I mean, I... You're a very good cop. I had a ride-along when I was a kid. I had a ride-along when I was a kid. 
just oh, talking about me over there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I went on a ride along when I was like eight years old or so. <laughs> you know, you ever been on a ride along? Uh, I had an uncle who was, uh, he said, do the choppers. Uh, oh, wow. Yeah. I had to do the Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was just such a pain in the I mean, oh, I was back in the 70s. I think before helicopters were down there today. Now you got tons of those choppers and stuff. Do you know, I mean, I don't know if you'd be able to say anything, if you know anything about um, drones or using them or them buying them? No, that I heard gonna be not, but yeah. it's not over like the not this year, um, <laughs> on the 4th of July, there was drones being flown over the strip, or a drone being flown over the strip. Or just someone? I, I can't imagine. I don't, I don't, I don't know if we had them yet. Um, because I think they're still trying to figure out, you know, the bodies and drying and stuff like that. I think you're supposed to test them and I'll commission tasks. Well, like I said, the 4th of July, back. man, I was with people and we were at one of the, um, there were these bridges on Los Angeles Boulevard. I can't remember what they could you know what where I went in. But, I mean, they thought it was UFO. <laughs> I mean, it did kind of look like UFO. Yeah. But they all take pictures like, people oh. do, they do but I was shocked to see drones over the highway. Uh, yeah, it's some, it's what private. Some sort of gaming project. What do you think? Uh, it's uh, in February 14th. It's going to be at the American Yeah. Right at that. Which, which one's the reason? Uh, why don't you hear that? Memorial. I have been, I, yeah. All right. Come over, check it out, and see, you know, what we're doing, how we're helping us. We're trying to help us. We're trying to help us. We're trying to help us. We're trying Maybe it's something that you guys come over to reach out to some different homeless folks. Oh, we we know, like, you know, like, you know, Meredith, we know, we know, we know, we know, we know, you know, we work with Food Not Bombs, uh, it's a organization that, you know, and there's a lot of controversy within it, um, you know, we have a different, uh, mindset, um, you know, if you're hungry, we feed you that. Well, we do that at the you know, party. Right. You know, we, we don't require, you know, like I do, and we don't. No, we don't. And, um, well, certain, certain groups, you know, require well, that they show up and stuff. And, you know. Well, then, like, like I said, this week, uh, we're, we're not there to run the beach project. We have another uh, lady that actually tried to do that for us. We're, we're, we're literally there to go to the center, 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 and whatever organization you are, you can get it, however you get it. Yeah, I think, I think I read about this one. Um, they set up tents, or different organizations set up for yeah, a Yeah, they have a table, they set up booths or whatever. Right, um, right. Some people end up building, some people end up hiding, so it's not like underwater. Then we had a dude, like last time, we had like a big pot of chicken in the building, and all the other people made it. We try to get like dry dishes too, so they look more and they can save it. Right. So, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a huge uh, stance of, of homeless kids. They're kind of homeless. They're missing homeless. These guys who are taking out, or in and out. Yeah, but what else is the main? It's kind of what it's involved in. It's also just like, um, it's almost like the bags come out, or just come out, or just come out, or just come out. Right. And we offer people service to do this. Yeah, and they, they appreciate it. Uh, all the homeless they appreciate it. And there's a lot of positive things. Instead of going down there and, you know, kind of doing a lot of homeless people, they're acting. Well, I mean, you seem to be really, I mean, you seem to care about your history. Um, there's a program called Housing First. And it's going to be uh, starting here. There's this gentleman uh, pushing for it. He's done tremendous things. I went to a seminar. Uh, the guy that they're it's doing it in Utah. We actually work with the, the yeah. chief um, from Salt Lake City. Yeah. The, oh, okay. So we actually that's came out actually this past week. So we're trying to work oh, with him as well. Right. That's, that's the gentleman I've had. So 
you see that there's, there's other methods and yeah. traditional ideas about what helps the homeless or keeps them homeless and maybe not the proper view of it, considering that the program is so successful and it's a complete turnaround of what is always been done before. Yeah, no, so, that's why I said you're yeah. working on things like that, but it's time to get some of the funding, get the right people set in place to get, to get this going. All right, all right. All right. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully, there's something to think about. You get more something to think about for sure. All right. And uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I want to go to that book store. Huh? Oh, the book store. Let me see. Oh, that book store. You know, you can see, I don't think it'll last three weeks in the town. But... Oh, well. That's all right.